Hello, welcome back to my channel, guys. Uh, I don't know if you caught the first one. This is going to be my part two of my solar setup. Uh, you see, I took my, if you didn't catch anything, I'll just go over a real quick overview. I took my refrigerator out. I don't want to put my, sound, my, solar, my panels on the roof because I don't want to put holes in my roof. And when I go places, I normally stay there anyway. So this setup is for me. Just for me. Everybody has everybody has different uses for their solar, you know, whether they want to put them on a roof and drive around and some people ain't going to want to take these out all the time, but I'm going to end up taking these out every time I need them, but I only may need to take out four. I might not need, to, there's eight of them here. I might not need to use all eight, you know, uh, I don't use that much energy. I just bought this for backup. I can pull in well more than what I actually need. The only thing I gotta, the only thing I gotta get together is my batteries. I need two more batteries. I'm going to get them sometime, but, uh, I waited for the rivet gun uh, in a previous video, like I told you, and that came in because, if you remember, I, when I put these together, the heads of the bolts were too big, and I was trying to copy the other design that I had here, but it just it didn't pan out right, but this will be better. So I'm going to start with this one here, the one that I already put together, and uh, take it back apart of what I had, and try these rivets. Now, just getting together some of my tools. It's kind of windy out there today, so I'm going to try to go in the, in the back of the RV and try to hide in the wind. I mean, it's not that bad all the time, but uh, it will be. So I'm just getting some stuff here. I would have to keep coming in and tracking mud off of my RV. I swear I sweep this thing 20 times a day. And I uh, need this to get the, the other bolts off. And a couple more hinges. And I'm going to use these little washers here for the rivets. Couple drill bits, just in case. These washers. I went really big on them. I wasn't even gonna do this with the bolts. We'll pile up some of these too. These are the mounts. If you didn't catch in my first video, I'm gonna put on the bottom, that end down, so it's got a wider base to keep it up out of the grass or dirt or wherever they're at, wherever the panels are sitting. Uh, came with some nice hardware. I tell you what, I'm putting some gutters on my RV here in the very near future. I can use these. For sure. Uh, something else that I'll film. But I'm just getting all the hardware together. See these here? They were hitting too hard. I'm just going to pop them out. I'm not going to go over detail. I'm going to take them out right now. I'll try to talk loud. It was either get wind or noise from the throughway. Well, everybody that drives an RV is used to the throughway, so I came back here and I'll do it back here. But I'm going to get these apart. All right, starting all over. Now I'm going to flip them over on their, on their, so they're facing each other and put them hinges in. These panels are nice. They're really nice. And I'm using the a, a hinge, not the hinges. These aren't the hinges that are going in. Uh, it just makes a nice gap, so it's be able to fold. Going on the other side too. And I brick holding it to when I drill. I have a little bit of a lip coming out on the top of the hinge, both sides. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, well, maybe I should go a little higher because. That panel moves around inside of there and hits that. I could break a panel. Yeah, I better go a little wider. I don't want to break them. Well, I took the hinges out that I was using as a spacer there. I put a board in there. That works a lot better. I like that. Drill some holes now. Well, there's not enough room in here for me to put these rivets in. So I gotta, I gotta go from the backside somehow. Maybe the original way that I had the hinges, but the heads will be smaller. I'm going to try it that way, but these are double walls. And I don't really know how these are put together. I'm assuming all the wires ran straight to the top of the module. I hope it doesn't run down this part. Huh. I'll seal that up though with some silicone. Oh, that sucks. I didn't realize they were double walled. That was just one piece of it, didn't I? Well, I'm putting it this way, back to this way. <laughs> At least the rivets, they'll be smaller. Maybe I just won't put washers on this side. Let's try one out. At least the holes are drilled, so let's see what happens. I got the rivet gun, washer for the back. This, should, this is the only thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm wasting too much time on these. This is what it's gonna have to be. I didn't realize these were double walls. Oops. I hope there's not wires ran up that. I, I don't think so. All everything's connected through the glass. That was first side. It's pretty tight and it's pretty low. This will work pretty good. I didn't use the washer. I hope they stay together. Keep an eye on them. Washer would have made it just that much thicker to they would hit. Actually works pretty good. I think that'll be fine. These panels don't weigh that much, so I'm going to do the other side. It's time consuming, but it's the only way I want it done. I may just do four of them. 
I'll do the other ones later just to get the move the, the video rolling here. This is going to take me days to do eight panels or put four together. So that's probably what I'll do. I'm just going to do a couple. This rubber gun works pretty good. 25 bucks. Well, there you have it. This is the first panel. This actually makes it faster than uh, having to use nuts and bolts and cheaper too. A lot cheaper. Nothing's cheap these days. I'm going to fold this up and see what kind of gap we got. Well, that's 100% better. Now I'm going to put the legs on. Down here. I like that so much better. Oh. I wasn't thinking in the beginning, guys. <laughs> Why did I use bolts? I don't know. Everybody makes mistakes. Nobody's perfect. I'm certainly not. And I'm sure you're not either. So let's get the legs on here and get the chain hooked up. And do a couple more. I'm not going to film every single one that I do, though. That'd be kind of boring. These are actually the mounts for the roof that I'm using as legs. Put one here on this side, and then on the on the reverse side, I'll put it here. They'll walk together. And I can also st put stakes in these also. I never thought of that until now. I'll keep them down in a windstorm. It'll help anyway. I may extend these. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to do the other side now. Do all, the, do all of them, all four. And then try to fold it up. All right, I got all four legs on. Let's fold her up. Should work out. Coming along pretty good. This this is really time consuming now. <laughs> Tell you that. Well, it works really good. Um, I, I put the bolts in the other way so that this would alleviate and put a gap all the way around it. Basically the same size as the hinge, so that works pretty good. But I do have to get a rubber stop on that. I don't like that hitting that metal right there because I didn't want it the other way. I want a gap there so those aren't hitting in the back. I'll figure something out. Piece of rubber or something, just put on top of it. Yeah, I changed my mind again. I don't like that. What I'm going to do, the only reason why I didn't use rivets on this was because I didn't want, I wanted it a little bit stronger because it's going to be a leg. But those rivets are pretty thick. I'm going to go to the rivets. And then I could just put a piece of tape over the rivets and that'll protect that metal. I'll take it all back apart. It's all good. And there's a rivet in it. That looks a little cleaner anyway. This moves around. I'm going to keep an eye on it. If I have to put a drill another hole in this, I'll put two rivets in, but I'm not going to do it if I don't have to. It's in there. It just it moves around a little bit. It'll be right. It'll move around with the, with the ground a little bit if it's uneven. <laughs> well, let's do the rest of them. Try it again. I'll get it right. There we go. It's in there pretty good. Now I can make a type of a lock or something. Keep them closed. And uh, I'll put a handle on this side, on one of these sides here somehow. Uh, I'll detach the handle though to this part. I can figure it out. But there we go. Now I gotta get the chains to hold them in a V. I'm gonna figure something out here. I might go from the bottom. <clears throat> if I go from the bottom, that's a lot of chain. I'll figure it out. That's what I'm laying flat. Works pretty good. I can actually go beyond flat. This is the chain that I'm going to use. I'm just going to tie it into here, into this hole, probably with just a couple zip ties. And then down to probably over here, I'll crisscross a little bit with a couple ties. And then this is just for safety. These are going to be pegged into the ground. But if I'm on hard ground or something, I can't get a rock to hold these up in a V, these, these chains will do it. I'm just going to put one on one side for now. If I have to put one on the other side, I will, but it's my idea. I don't want these dropping or breaking. These are very expensive. I'm trying to do all precautions I can. These work really good. I've already used them a bunch of times. Everything's working out, except for this last one that I did is loose, but that'll be okay. Well, there's the chain. Uh, I'm going to go upstairs and see if I can... Go try to see if I can make some type of a handle so I can carry these somehow, some way. Coming out pretty good though. Yeah, this chain is. I think this is a good idea. I just laying around too. I'm gonna have to get more if it works, but I just don't want them collapsing. When I got it veated in a full, veated in a full, folded in a V. Depending the angle I want, I'll just tie this chain in a knot, and that'll be right. You can always untie it. Coming out pretty good. Almost done. I got to get a handle. And uh, clips. I know I don't have any clips. I want to be able to clip these together and lock them somehow. 
somehow. I'm gonna make this real simple. I'm gonna use rope so I can tie it to the top. That way nothing just and, and the rope that I use for a handle, <clears throat> I can just tuck down in here. Well, I mean when it's all the other way around, I'll pull it out if I need it. This is stuff I've laying around the house. I'm gonna use it. This is pretty strong. This is nylon. This is really strong. There, I got a handle. That'll work out pretty good. Now I'm gonna flip it over and stick it in the ground. I went and got some stakes. I'm gonna set it up in the yard over here. See how she works. That'll probably be about it. I'm not gonna film every, all four of these, or all eight that I'm, that I'm joining together. I'll just put them together and then do whatever, but I'm not gonna film every single one. I'm gonna be doing this exact same thing on every panel. The only thing I gotta do, Go to the hardware store and get some clips to put here somehow. Some way to some way to lock these together. They ain't bouncing around all the time. I don't want to drill in the side here, so I'm gonna have to figure something out. Uh, I might have something here. I'm gonna set this up. Well there you have it. One panel. Complete. Uh, this thing ain't going nowhere. It's it's in the ground. Uh, even with the I put stakes down in here and the, and the mounts themselves right into the ground. It's not going anywhere. I don't even think I'm going to use this chain. I was just concerned that I didn't want it collapsing on me or anything or blowing around in the wind. Just you never know. But they work pretty good. I think I'm going to call that quits. So I'm going to do a couple more today. I'll probably film as I get done with one at a time, maybe I'm on part three, but this this is gonna be it for this one. This is basically how I'm gonna have it. Got my got my handle here that works works great. Rope, light, and my battery's dying on my camera, so like, subscribe guys. Many more to come. I still gotta do some research myself on wiring the solar up. I'm gonna do all that when I get to it, but I wanna get these panels in there and I wanna get the cabinet made where I'm keeping them if you've seen my previous video but uh, I'm even gonna film building the cabinet this is for me I'm not saying everybody should do what I do everybody's different this 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 method for me serves me per perfect in my situation and what I do so everybody's different like subscribe guys have a good day later hey uh before we go that worked out pretty good I'm actually gonna gain room I'll gain space in here which is good more storage but I uh, just want to throw that in there these fit in there pretty good these kind of stick out more to my liking but it's okay looking good all right guys later next vid see you then